Good morning. Welcome to my channel. My name is Alyssa. I'm a wife and a mom. I've been following a carnivore way of eating for a little over a year and a half now. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a few tips for, um, for digesting fat or tolerating a higher fat diet better. I'm also going to be sharing with you what I eat in a day on high fat carnivore and chatting a little bit about why I made the switch from uh, a more a higher protein carnivore diet to a higher fat carnivore diet and some of the benefits that I've been experiencing from this dietary change. Okay, so when I initially went carnivore in June of 2021, I knew that um, higher fat could be more optimal for women on carnivore as opposed to um, higher protein because it's not very efficient to try to get your energy mostly from protein. You need, to get, you need to get your energy from fat or carbs and I do better without carbs. Um, anyways, my digestion was just not with it. So when I would have higher fat, um, when I first started out, I felt great mentally and um, physically, except for the terrible diarrhea <laughs> and nausea. So I kind of just, you know, um, gave up on high fat for a while because I needed to live my life outside of the bathroom. <laughs> uh, and that was fine um, for, you know, from then on. Uh, a higher protein it wasn't low fat but it was less fat than high fat um, and yeah that was fine I felt good doing that good enough and um, I'm the type of person that I'm like well if it ain't broke don't fix it so I was kind of content just staying um, doing a higher higher protein version of carnivore I think my macros were probably like a 70% uh, fat 30% protein so what inspired me to try high fat carnivore again um, almost a year and a half later was a round table, I guess you would call it a round table interview on Steak and Butter Dog's channel um, with Dr. Elizabeth Bright and I think um, uh, Cherish, I can't remember her last name, but Cherish, Cherishing Your Health on Instagram. Uh, they were all on there and there was another lady, I can't remember her name. But anyways, they were, you know, talking all about how high fat was great for ladies. Um, and if I'm being completely honest, the, the point they were talking about that had me say, okay, I'm gonna try high fat carnivore again, was the butter boobs. <laughs> So I've always been very small chested um, and I'm at a place in my life now that I'm at peace with my small humble boobs. But I was like, well, wouldn't that be cool if I could finally grow some boobs? Maybe I need to try out high fat carnivore again. And so yeah, I was inspired by that interview to go ahead and give it a try. I started out um, just making sure I was getting at least a stick of butter um, every day along with the meat I was eating. So I didn't change the amount of protein I had at first. I was just adding a lot more butter. And I have to admit that I was really nervous about it turning into like a diarrhea disaster again with all that butter because before when I first started carnivore, like I said, that would have been, you know, like me being on the toilet all day. I was very pleasantly surprised to find out that I guess through this time of being carnivore, my body has adjusted um, to being able to handle more fat um, just on its own. So that's my first tip for being able to tolerate more fat. Just give it time. Just give your body some time to acclimate, okay? Um, 
as time went on oh so adding in a stick of butter i was already feeling a burst a boost in energy a boost in um mood and definitely a boost in my libido uh <laughs> So as time went on, I kind of started to feel like, um, I kind of started to feel like I was eating a whole lot. It just felt like too much food. And I started to do some research and found out that a lot of times when people do a higher fat version of carnivore, they do cut back on the protein a bit. So before I think I was having like over 160 grams of protein a day at least 160 grams of protein every day um and so after finding that out i slowly started to like titrate down um how much protein i was having with each meal and adding more fat um to the point that i got to where i am now that i think i'm having about uh 75 to 100 grams of protein a day and that's spread out in three meals and at each meal however much protein i'm having like if it's 30 grams of protein i'm making sure i have at least 60 grams of added fat initially cutting back on protein i was really kind of uh, worried about what it was going to do to my gains, what it was going to do to my energy levels, what it was, it was going to do to my performance in the gym. But I'm happy to say those things have not uh, decreased at all. If anything, I feel like they have improved. So um, what I can say is that I'm not getting as much as a pump in the gym. And I think that might be because I don't have, I'm not converting as much protein to glucose. Um, to like pump up my muscles but outside of the gym like my walking every uh walking day-to-day -day life my muscles are fuller and i'm getting stronger in the gym so while i'm not getting that big pump the muscles are gr I, they appear to be growing and looking fabulous okay well anyways it's cold I'm done doing my uh, grounding and I'm gonna go in and show you what I'm making for breakfast and um, talk about another tip for digesting more fat. All right, so for breakfast, you can see I'm gonna have uh, three eggs, two strips of thick sliced bacon, and then um, a half a stick of butter, just about four tablespoons. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so for my next tip, how to tolerate more fat, higher fat diet is going to be to supplement with uh, HCL. So I mentioned earlier that when I did try out the high fat kind of where I was pleasantly surprised that I wasn't on the toilet. I wasn't getting diarrhea like I was before eating a higher fat meal or a higher fat day of eating. I did, however, still get some nausea. Um, so even though I didn't get diarrhea, Eating a whole lot of fat at one time would give me some nausea. And I stumbled upon a solution to that, which ended up being um, to take an HCL supplement. So HCL, it's um, hydrochloric acid. I think it's, it's sold as like biotin HCL and it has pepsin. Sometimes it has pepsin with it. And taking that supplement, I am able to, I, I will be able to eat this whole half stick of butter with the eggs and the bacon, no issues, no digestive um, upset, no nausea or anything. As time goes on, I have found that I've been able to decrease the amount of HCL I'm taking before a meal. And so that's helped a lot. 
I remember in the beginning I did try I did, uh, <clears throat> digestive enzyme and that had lipase like which is a fat digesting um, enzyme and I thought that would have helped a lot with me digesting fat and the digestive enzyme I was taking actually did not help and I had an HCL I had bought an HCL at the same time the HCL was much cheaper and I just assumed the digestive enzyme would be better working because it was more expensive and I never even tried the HCL fast forward to like a month and a half two months ago I saw the HCL in my cabin and I said, hmm, maybe I should try taking this before a meal. And it ended up working out. It taking away that um, that nausea I had from having a really high fat meal. So that might be something you wanna look into. If you're having a little, if you're having issues digesting fat the way I was. So I'm gonna finish my breakfast and I'll see you guys again when it's lunchtime with another tip for digesting more fat. Okay, so I'm back, it's lunchtime. I'm having a burger, an egg, two slices of bacon and three tablespoons of butter. Mmm. It's good. Okay, so at breakfast time, I was talking about um, supplementing with HCL to help you to digest fat a little bit better. Um, but HCL, hydrochloric acid, is a substance that is naturally produced in your body. Just for some people like me with my history of a vegan diet and other things I was partaking in, um, that may have caused me to have lower stomach acid. Um, there are ways other than taking an HCL supplement that you can maximize your own, your own um, endogenous HCL production. And that's where my next two tips are coming in. So tip number two for better digesting fat is gonna be to not, um, not drink water, not drink a whole lot of water with your meal, like while you're eating, because that can dilute whatever stomach acid you have, whatever um, enzymes you have, uh, fat digesting en enzymes in your stomach, and make it harder to digest fat. So you still wanna make sure that you're drinking plenty of water throughout the day. You just don't want to You just don't wanna <clears throat> like guzzle a whole bunch of water with your meals. Cause like I said, it will dilute that stomach acid. And any of the other enzymes. Okay, and then tip number three is to consider adding more salt to your food. You don't want it to be super salty, like you're eating a piece of like country ham or something like that. But by adding more salt, it can help you to produce more HCL on your own and to help you to taste your food better and send that signal throughout your body that you're eating some fat, some protein, something that it's gonna need to you know, bump up that HCL production, bump up the other enzymes like lipase, um, and so that you can digest better. You may remember a while back I was talking about that I don't really use salt because 
I just don't have a taste for it a lot of times. But I have noticed if I have a meal without salt, it might be harder for me to digest that fat, digest that protein versus a meal that is saltier. I feel like everything goes down a lot easier. Mmm, this is so good. Oh, I forgot to mention earlier about one of the benefits that I'm experiencing from eating more fat is like a complete, like my stress levels have been completely dissolved. Um, I was pretty cucumber cool before, but now I'm like really chilled out like an ice cube. <laughs> Um, things just are not getting to me. I was, I was doing really well before, you know, standard carnivore, but on high fat, there's, it's some, it's like a whole nother level to the zero carbs in. Okay. For instance, this morning I was trying to film the breakfast segment and all that. Meanwhile, I, we were running a little late for church. And, um, it was like, we, ha I had like 20 minutes to <laughs> finish my breakfast, finish filming that little segment, get the kids dressed, ready, um, with breakfast in hand out the door. And like, not once did my breathing quicken or did I run around, you know, stressed out. I was just like, okay. Just kind of going through the motions, not like a zombie, but it's totally at peace, totally at peace because I have this sense of everything's okay. Just go with the flow. And I would say that that's the, that's the biggest benefit that I've noticed so far eating the high fat is that stress release. So I'm gonna finish my lunch here in the winter sunshine and um, after that I'll let things digest a little bit and then I'm gonna head to the gym to train my chest, shoulders, triceps and I'll be back at dinner time to finish telling you these some more fat digesting tips and show you what I'm having for dinner. Okay, so it's dinner time. I'm back for dinner time. I've got a steak that I'm gonna split with Zoe. So I won't eat this whole thing. I'll eat about half, it's about six ounces of steak. And then I've got some butter. I've got, I got five tablespoons here. I, um, I'll um, i have at least four tablespoons. I might have all five. Lots of salt on my steak. But this cold butter brings me to my next tip. And that is to use solid butter or solid fats um, as opposed to melted um, for better digestion. I know that in the past, I haven't tested it. I haven't tested it recently, but in the past when I had a um, like melted fat, it was a disaster. So, and, and other people have said that too, that it's easier easier for them to digest their fat when it's solid or cold. Oh yes, oh yes. And my final tip for better digestion, better fat digestion, it's kind of two tips in one, but to say grace over your food, even if you're not religious or a spiritual person, 
just take a moment to um, have some gratitude for the food on your plate. Prepare your body, me prepare yourself mentally that you're about to take in something that is nourishing and good for your body. Um, and the second part of that is to eat with people you love. Don't eat with people who irritate you or make you excited. You wanna be in a calm state when you're eating and that's gonna ensure the best digestion. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope those tips for digesting fat um, help you out. It's helped me out. Like I said, I used to not be able to have any high amount of fat without being on the toilet all day. And now I have very smooth digestion, even eating um, over 200 grams of fat a day. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at meet Mrs. Grubbs and at Unity underscore fit. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.